from KSTP TV. You're watching Minnesota Live. And welcome back to Minnesota Live. Thanks for spending part of your Friday with us here. We're taking a live look. This is the North Shore Tofty this morning. Still to come this half hour, we're showing you some really beautiful spots where you can see the best fall colors this weekend, including two hiking trails right here in Tofty. There you go. You know that area well. A few weeks ago, we featured the Highland Water Tower in St. Paul as part of our highly, highly, highly viewed Water Tower Wednesday series. Oh, it was so beloved. This weekend, this historic water tower is going to be open to the public for the first time in three years. So guests have the opportunity to climb this 90 plus year old tower for the chance to see just stunning views and all directions over the metro. Seemed like a good place for us to send Minnesota Live photojournalist Bill Mitteke to get a sneak peek at what you can expect. <laughs> Jody Walleen and I work for St. Paul Regional Water Services. I'm going to take you on a quick tour of the Highland Park Water Tower. This is the Highland Park Water Tower. It was built in 1928 and it is on the historic list of landmarks. And right here we have a nice picture of Clarence Cap Wigington. He was the architect who actually designed the tower. He was the first municipal architect in the country of African American descent. We have his blueprints of the Highland Park Water Tower here for you to enjoy while you visit. The most popular part of the tower is the observation deck. 151 steps up to the top. After you've climbed all 151 steps to the top, you're rewarded with these fantastic views. You can see all the way out to Rosemont here. If you go over here, we've got the Minneapolis International Airport. You can watch planes land and take off all day long if you want to. Go over here and we've got Minneapolis, the skyline. We've got St. Kate's University. You can see their own water tower is right there in the close up distance and Minneapolis is in the far off distance. So we can go all the way down to the Space Needle at the state fairgrounds. So if we look out this window to the northeast, you can see downtown St. Paul. You can see the cathedral, downtown St. Paul and the Smith High Street Bridge. And then of course the golf course. Most water towers are built functionality wise to provide water. This one was actually provided with an ornamental design with the public in mind so that they could come up here and enjoy the great views. They actually used to have lunches up here all the time. People, business people from downtown used to come and have lunches here on their breaks. This was really a fantastic place just to come and you could come and go as you pleased up until World War II. It was reopened again on specific weekends starting in 1975 and it's been open every second weekend in October since then and every third weekend in July. This tower was built, it's ornamental in nature, but it was actually built to house a 200,000 gallon water tank back in 1928, which in, back in 1928 was a fair amount of water. Um, over the years that really became redundant and we didn't need it, so about eight years ago we stopped using the tank here. Oh, people spend an inordinate amount of time up here taking photos. If I were you, I would bring a pair of binoculars because you can see so far out. There are times if the weather is super clear, you can see all the way to the Carlson Towers out in 394. So you really do get an, uh, an incredible view up here. And you can only go twice a year. There you go. Mm -hmm. The Highland Park Water Tower is open again two weekends a year. This weekend it'll be open both Saturday and Sunday from 9 to 5. Admission is free, but they do recommend that you get there early if you want to beat the crowd.